optimistic when I woke up the next morning. Feels like today's task is going to be a good one. I was still in a good mood when Harry began his announcement. Good morning. So some people apparently take issue with not being able to skip the task without gaining points. Why would they think they would get points for skipping? Well, I can allow someone to get the same or more points from skipping than someone would from actually completing a task. I have come up with a um, compromise. Whether you make use of it is up to you. People have complained about the clues being too strange, so today you will have no clue. Instead, the terms of a task will be plainly outlined. Head to your team's meeting room for instructions. That is all. I wonder what's up with him. His speech deflated my spirits a bit, but I tried to shrug it off as I headed to the meeting room. Only Mr. Wolf was there when I arrived. This like the first task meeting. Good morning, Miss Archer. Good morning, Mr. Wolf. The others seem to be taking their time. Yeah, an idea what the day does is going to be about? No, really. I mean, there was a guy here with instruction when I arrived, but he left. He said something about waiting until we were all here before returning. I guess he doesn't want to repeat himself. Guess so. Right, I'm here. Sorry I'm late, but we can start. Wait, where's Mr. Bandages? No clue. Maybe he overslept. Maybe. I suppose there's no we can do about this except wait. Someone could go and wake him up? Right after I said that, he stumbled into the room. Somehow I don't think that's necessary. Mr. Bandages! Are you okay? Fine. You look a little um, under the weather and that's putting it nicely. I'm fine! Now can we get this started? We have to wait for the instructions guy to come back. He's way on his feet. Maybe you should take a seat. Or go back to bed. The game isn't more important than... Cut it out! I can do this task! I'm fine! Your definition of fun seems different from mine. Mr. Bandages just glared at the count. The man with the instructions chose that moment to return. Now that everyone is here, we can get this task started. Please, everyone take a seat. We all sat down, but Mr. Bandages kept glaring. Today says it's extra hard to make up for the chance to skip the game and still gain points. It's... Mr. Bandages jumped out of his seat and slammed his hands onto the table. The what? I take you didn't listen to this morning's announcement then? Eric added it in. Why would he even? Let's just stop it! Why the hell would anyone even bother with the task? Actually, what kind of lame brain? Sit down and shut up. Why you? You look like you're on the verge of passing down and your little hissy fit isn't about to change anything. So for once, just be quiet. Honestly, you're giving me a headache. Mr. Bandages reluctantly lowered himself back down onto his seat. The man with the instructions cleared his throat nervously before continuing. There is a way to skip the task by dub anyone who tried. It. It's a luck based game and losing means you forfeit not only this test points but yesterday's as well. There's only 1% chance of success and... I'll do it. The hell you will, I'm not letting you throw away our chance to earn points. Mr. Bandages has a point. Maybe we should see what the task is like before we make a decision. Fine. 
The task requires the four of you to collect certain objects from around the mansion. That doesn't sound so bad. Estate. Oh, the whole estate? Yes, and the servants are not allowed to speak to you during this time. This task has a time limit of one hour and the rooms dungeons are located in are booby trapped. Someone pissed Zuri off, didn't they? Is this task even possible to complete? Depending on where the items are, it might be possible, but it would take a lot of work and I'm not sure Mr. Bandage is good. I'm fine, I can do this! That's what you say, but your body seems to disagree. No like it matters. I'm taking the luck game. But that's a one person chance. Are you sure you want to? Well, I'd love to say go for it. I have to acknowledge that the odds are against you. Trust me on this. You can't be serious. This is preposterous. Be sensitive. Sometimes being sensible isn't sensible. That doesn't even make any sense. Look, you're in no condition to go running around the estate, and what happens if you end up needing medical help because the exertion makes your condition worse? You can't win the game if you can't even play it. He turned to Mr. Wolf and the Count. You guys can't let her. I actually think she has a valid point. Me too. I would rather forfeit some points than risk your health. Looks like you've been outvoted. So we really going with the luck game? Yes. Don't say I didn't warn you. I won't. He pulled out a small device from his gun and place on the table. This machine will generate a number from 1 to 100. If you guess the right number, your team gets 5 points. Okay. What's your number? 7. The man starts the device. I don't believe it. What? What happened? See for yourself. He pushed the device closer to us. It shows my number! Wow, that's amazing! Looks like we have our own Lady Luck. So we get 5 points now? Yes, today's task is over, your team. I'll just be leaving now. The man gathered up his things and left. For a moment we all just sat there, stunned. Then the calm broke the silence. So, how did you get sick anyway? I took a swim in the lake. Why w Oh, you fell in, didn't you? You probably should go back to bed now that the task is done. Stay away from swimming until after the game is over. Get lots of fluids and plenty of rest. Yeah, yeah, I'm going all being around you guys doing it. He's doing is that into my headache. All that suspense made me hungry. Me too. Hey, wait! We didn't get breakfast! You're right! You could probably ask one of the staff to provide something or just get something from the pantry or. Sounds good. Where's the pantry? It's. I'll just show you. Mr. Wolf and I followed the camp through the hallways until we arrived at the large set of double doors. The kitchen is through these doors. Even as he said it, he was already pushing one of them open. He went up to the nearest of the serving staff. Could you see to it that Mr. Bandages has breakfast and up to his room? He seems to be unwell. The server nodded and said about putting a breakfast tray together. Right, now that's settled. Is there anything that all of you still need before I leave? Oh, are you going to the library? I like directions. I'm actually not. With this scavenger hunt going on, people will be tri 
traipsing through it for a while, so isn't the best place to read right now anyway. Oh, 